Do you cringe each time you get your monthly cable or satellite TV bill? Does the thought of spending $50, $60, $75, or even $100 or more on cable each month make your head hurt? You're not the only one. Hello, what I would like to show you is how to do away with your cable satellite TV and still be able to enjoy your TV programming at little or no extra cost. As we take a closer look, I will reveal that there are many options when it comes to entertainment and you can actually live without cable. Note, the information given here is for the use in the US but may be able to work in other countries. If you live outside the US, please check your local laws before trying. Where to start is the first thing most people ask. The first thing is not to cut your cable off. This will be one of the last things you should do. The first thing is to make sure everything is working for you and is how you want it before cutting ties with your former provider. Your first step I would recommend is getting a small amplified digital TV antenna which comes in indoor and indoor outdoor models. With one of these most people will be able to view ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, PBS and plus a host of new channels to recently hit the over-the-air freebies such as MeTV and Antenna TV and many many more. These are all free and some offer some great programming. These antennas start as little as twenty dollars and go up from there and can be found at places like Walmart, Target, Best Buy and other brick-and-mortar stores. The catch to buying the correct antenna is knowing how far away the TV station is from your home. There are a couple of websites out there that can help you with this issue. I will list these websites down in the description section of this video. The second thing I would recommend is a wired or wireless internet to TV player box that uses your high speed internet connection. You will find these devices under such names as Roku, Apple TV, Boxy, and Google TV, just to name a few. I myself enjoy the use of the Roku 2XS, which allows you to play games such as Angry Birds on your living room TV. Roku has a few different boxes to choose from, from prices ranging at $49.99 to $99.99 and can be found at Walmart, Target and Best Buy plus at online sites. Another option is some of the Blu-ray players and LCD and LED TVs now also offer internet to TV options. I will list a few of these in the description section below. These boxes, TVs, and players offer such subscription-based channels as Netflix, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Instant Video. You will find free channels also. Here are just a few of the hundreds of channels to choose from. Sci-Fi, Smithsonian Channel, Flickster, Epic, Midnight Pulp, Flix, Pop Flix, Classic TV, Pub D Hub, drive-in classics and flight picks. The third optional piece of hardware you can use is a desktop or laptop computer hooked up to a TV with a PC in port on it. Do note some higher-end computers do have HDMI or S-Video out ports on them to connect to a computer to the TV. I highly recommend a wireless keyboard and mouse when using this setup. It will make things so much better. When using this system, you will have the greatest freedom of choice. You can use subscriptions based channels as Netflix, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Instant Video. 
These subscription based channels such as Hulu and Netflix start as low as $7.99 a month. On the downside, you must use some type of bank card or debit card when signing up for these services. Amazon Instant Video also offers a pay per view option and these videos are at various prices. But there are even more free based things you can use and find that these shows you love to watch. Free channels include, but not limited to, Sci-Fi.com, CBS.com, Fox.com, ABC.com, NBC.com, History Channel, and DiscoveryChannel.com, just to name a few of the sites, to find great new and even classic shows. A good example of a site with free classic shows is NBC.com, which has such shows on it as The A-Team. Battlestar Galactica, Charles in Charge, Knight Rider, Quantum Leap, and Simon and Simon. Another site to find some classic shows is in end movies is crackletv.com. And some may not know about the hidden gem for finding movies and TV shows, youtube.com. There are many more sites like this that are legal to view out there and the ones I've listed are just a few that you can find. The downside to this method is there are now some channels, cable channels, that are requiring you to have a cable satellite TV subscription to view their content online. Some of these channels you will find will be TNT.com TBS.com, Cartoon Network, and Boomerang all require you to have a satellite TV subscription. So if you're ready to cut the cable line and start pocketing that money instead of giving it to the cable company each month, follow some of them easy steps that I've listed and you can easily live without cable. For more information, there are one, a lot of websites out there to help you along the way. I have also have a Facebook, Alternatives to Cable and Satellite TV, that have helpful information. I will post a link in the description section below to my Facebook. If you have other comments or suggestions that are helpful, I ask you to either please post them on the Facebook site or post them in the comments section below. I greatly appreciate your time. And I hope you have a great time losing your cable and satellite.